polyp is a growth of tissue from different surfaces of the body. These polyps usually protrude into the cavities. In terms of gynecology, uterine polyps are used as the terminology for endometrial polyps. Endometrial polyps develop from the endometrial lining, the inner lining of the womb. And during the menstrual cycles, if irregular growth of this tissue happens, then uterine cavity polyps occur. The exact cause of endometrial polyps is not known, but usually it develops under hormonal influences with the hormone estrogen. During the menstrual cycles, when the uh, proliferation of the inner lining of the uterus is abnormal, then protruding uh, structures like polyps occur. Uterine polyps are usually symptomatic. When symptoms occur, women just suffer from irregular bleedings. The bleedings may last longer than expected or the bleedings might be irregular with mid-cycle spotting-like bleedings. When the irregular bleedings come, usually the amount of bleeding is not too much, but uh, spotting can be also very disturbing for the women. Sometimes uterine polyps can come with inf infertility problems also. In women who is undergoing fertility treatments, uterine cavity has to be normal, and we more often see uterine polyps in infertile women also. So before starting up with fertility treatments, uterine cavity has to be checked for uterine polyps. When we detect a uterine polyp in a woman, we just uh, search for the symptoms first. If the patient is asymptomatic, if we just detect the polyp at the ultrasound only, she has no symptoms, then we can just watch and wait for the polyp to uh, grow. If nothing happens, if the polyp is uh, smaller than one centimeter, we just check in regular ultrasound examinations and we just wait. If the patient is symptomatic and the polyp is larger than one centimeter in diameter, then we can just, for the symptoms, we can give some hormonal supplements, contraceptive pills or other kind of hormone supplements in order to cure the symptoms. If the polyp is much bigger or the patient is suspicious for cancerous occasions, or if the, ship, the patient has infertility, then we usually remove by surgery the polyp out. It's called hysteroscopic surgical polyp removal. The odds of uterine polyp being cancer is really low, but that changes according to the age and the menopausal status of the patient. If the patient is in reproductive age having periods, then the risk of uh, an uterine polyp being cancer is like 1-2%. to depending on the symptoms and the size of the polyp also. But if women is in menopausal stage, then the risk of cancer is like 5%. We can tell it in average. After the ultrasound, the size of the polyp regarding the symptoms of the patient, we usually take the polyp out by surgery to be sure that the polyp is not cancerous. We, with very small polyps with no symptoms of the patient, we usually wait. If you have undergone a surgery for endometrial polyp, after removal of the polyp, the polyp is sent to the pathology examination. Under the microscope, the tissue is evaluated for cancer cells. If the report is like uterine cancer or the endometrial cancer, then you need to undergo cancer treatment for this endometrial polyp. The risk is usually low, but if you're in menopausal stage, then the risk is much higher, like 5%. So if you have an endometrial polyp that is reported as cancer, a new treatment modality is planned for treatment of the endometrium cancer that is usually done with a bigger surgery, like uterine removal, according to the stage of the patient. Then afterwards, we can just do chemotherapy or radiotherapy in addition to this treatment.